don't you know it? Tunes of the week, it's Tunes of the week. Hello and welcome back to the Talk Tonight podcast. It's Tunes of the week. That is the only show on YouTube where you can hear five of the best upcoming artists every single Friday. It's been a it's been a very good week actually. Um, finally, some positivity in regards to when we may be out of lockdown. Festivals, Reading and Leeds, it looks like it very well may be going ahead. Transmit also. Obviously Glastonbury has already been cancelled, but it does seem like there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And if we can just hold out for another four or five months, with all these measures, hopefully, hopefully we'll be back in the pubs, back in the clubs, back at the gigs. And finally able to live our lives once more it's you know we're, I'm, we're always negative on this channel for some strange reason um, so I just wanted to start the show with a bit of positivity and again it's a fantastic show we've got five fantastic songs um, yeah and I just hope you enjoy it if you have been enjoying the show drop us a like Drop us a subscription because it it really does help. And also drop us a comment on what your favourite song is off with there. Um, also, we've created a little um, trend, not trend, like we do a daily poll, I suppose, on Twitter, at Talk Tonight HQ, where we've been asking, like, rate the band, rate the album, rate the song. And they've been doing very like fairly well. I love the interaction with people. So if you've not been getting involved with those, please go drop us a follow on Twitter. We also do it on Instagram at, at TalksNightHQ. And if you've got new music coming out, queries at TalksNight.co.uk, drop us an email. We've got loads of fantastic stuff on the way as well in regards to the podcast. Um, yesterday we were joined by Black Honey, uh, a band that I've been a fan of for several years now. Um, met them twice actually after the gigs and lovely people but it's the first time I've really like spoken to them as a band and well we spoke to Izzy and Alex and they were, they were lovely uh, it was a really good chat we spoke about loads of different stuff in regards to women in the industry about the new album their sort of rebrand as a band and all the new stuff they've got going on on social media so that's going to be coming out March the 5th I believe week today so make sure you got on that and yeah so our first track with there Sith Death with Headlight and so no way and I try to rectify the cause I put it down instead now you been messing around with my old friends I'm too good for her I've been missing thoughts, they fall through my head Now you should take this now They say every cloud has its shine When it's tumbling down If we just left it out They'll still miss my sound
kid, but I just run. We both know that I haven't seen you. The headlights froze. But you should be the one, the one, the one. You should be the one. Come over, I saw you. Come over, and I saw you. Come over, I saw you. And this week in the news, we've had a lot of weird. Weird headlines coming out. Um, Billie Eilish came out uh, about her love of the Strokes and uh, about Julian Casablanca's being an absolute genius. I beg to agree. But yeah, it was just a weird one to see. Um, obviously, Billie Eilish probably one of the biggest female artists in the industry at the moment. So yeah, much like Alex Turner, <laughs> we got we were all looking up to the strokes because I mean is this it is probably one of the the few 10 out of 10 albums out there uh, it's very good if it, I mean I presume everyone listening to this knows it but if you don't you're missing a trick you really are um, you really need to get your head screwed on uh, also in the news this week we heard um, a few weeks ago like Wolf Alice lead singer about the issues she was facing with Marilyn Manson. They've got some new stuff coming out, so make sure you share them some support. Not that you need me to tell you, you already, already show them support, they're absolutely massive. And um, what else we got coming up? Yeah, we're starting a new series, um, Talk Tonight Hearst, so it's going to be me, um, that, well, me, Dan, the other Dan, uh, Harry, Jake and Emily and we're going to be doing our top five songs from a particular band and the first episode coming out is going to be on Oasis and we've we've brought in a few artists which are going to drop us some covers to play in the background so make sure you show them artists some love as well. Make sure you show the Shed Project some love with their new song Feel My Love.
So, I am. Um, there's a great little podcast which has come out recently, a pint of politics podcast, and um, I'm going to be speaking to the host of that, Connor, uh, next week, and hopefully they'll be out soon. Um, they had Miss Emily Rachel on the uh, on their podcast. If you're not aware of her, she's the um, the Fiat 500 boss. And she's been creating waves on Twitter with her idiocy. And um, I'm really interested to see what kind of made of her, like speaking to her as, a, as an individual, because uh, what one of my pet peeves, you could say, is people who act thick. Um, so, yeah, like, I, I don't know what people... Oh, so many people do it, like... Uh, I'm not going to name names, but I know someone who's an incredibly intelligent person. And then she's had she's had one or two drinks and all of a sudden she's like, Did you ever you? Like, acting like a fool. And I just think, like, you, nah, you knew already, so I don't know why you're acting like, like a thicker. It's just, it's not attractive, it's not funny, it's not clever. Uh, that is one of my uh, pet peeves. And yeah, the sun has just gone in. It's nice. But yeah. So, Miss Emily Rachel, to get back on topic, is one of these people, I believe, who acts thick for likes or for retweets or whatever. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of made of her um, on the podcast. And next up, we've got Rowetta with Flashback.
So if you're watching on YouTube, you may have noticed that my hair is getting incredibly long and incredibly curly. And I've also not shaved in a couple of weeks. Um, this is a couple of days for some people, but uh, for me, it's taken two or three weeks. Not that that matters, but I'm probably not going to get haircut now until lockdown lockdowns up and and i'm i'm thinking do i do i go for a number zero all over and uh, do sort of a charity thing like because this is the longest my hair's been bloody probably since year seven when i was a uh, when i thought i looked like harry styles <laughs> and um yeah I, I was thinking maybe shave it all off for charity i don't know if that's something you'd be interested in but yeah i've definitely been thinking about it i've always got I wanted to shave it all off for, uh, for a couple of weeks now because it's just incredibly frustrating. I look like a right mop head. But yeah. <laughs> uh, tunes of the week, by, by the way, people. Full of interesting stories. This is Lines from a Poem. Hold on. So we've had four tracks already and they've all been absolutely amazing as always. Big shout out to all the artists involved. Uh, this show is nothing without you. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for getting involved. A um, little story before we move on to our final song of the day. 
So the other day I was making a cup of tea and my I'm at my girlfriend's currently and her, uh, her you make cups of teas like on the on the on the white surface on the side and the biscuit cupboard is above and uh, so I've made my cup of tea and I'm gonna tell you how you make a cup of tea so you, you put your uh, your tea bag in your milk in your sugar in your water you stir you're done none of this putting the milk in afterwards business I'm not with that probably gonna disagree with me on that one but now nah, I believe like you put your tea bag and your milk in first before the water Drop me a comment on how you make up tea, because I know that's not the uh, the fashionable way to do it, but I, I don't adhere to trends. Anyways, so, um, yes, yeah, so I pull out, I open the biscuit cupboard, and this, this wild custard cream comes flying down, straight into my tea, splashes everywhere, but I'm very quick on my feet, and I instantly fish it out with a teaspoon, pull out this custard cream, and I pull it out, oh, so it's, it's dunked in. A whole biscuit didn't break apart. I was that fast. And I thought, oh, I'll just scram that. Had it very nice, very, very moist custard cream. And then I still had my cup of tea. Perfect. Wasn't ruined by the rogue custard cream. Lovely stuff. And something that is lovely is our final song of the day. It's Perry Manning, Vinegar and Veins. This is a lad who we had on the podcast a while ago, who just seems to be getting better and better. His covers that he posts on YouTube are absolutely fantastic. I'm going to post a little um, little, little video from Perry in a moment. But yeah, his, he did a cover of Miracle of Lina by The Last Shadow Puppets, and it was mega. So make sure you show Perry some love and all the artists that have been involved. Go drop them a follow on social media. Drop us a like, drop us a subscribe. What's been your favourite song? Drop us a comment. This is Perry Manning, Vinegar and Veins. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'm Perry Manning and a big thank you to Talk Tonight podcast team for picking my new single, Vinegar and Veins, as their track of the week. Nice one. Um, Vinegar and Veins is a pretty dark track, um, along with a video, which um, goes along with it pretty well, I think. Um, it's about being in a lot of despair, in a hellhole, and uh, talking to the voices and the creatures that live inside your mind and trying to claw your way back to some sort of normality. I hope you enjoy the track. Nice one to those of you who have listened and shared. <laughs> Vinegar and veins Trying to reevaluate my psycho Psychotic brain, here we go Hey, hey, hey Hey, hey, hey Scratch the skin from my bones I dig you out of my throne Emotionally charged I live inside my own scars Emotionally charged I live inside my own scars